Some of the challenges were my own nervousness. I wasn't sure, you know, am I doing this right? And, and you know, I thought I was being graded. I just was very nervous about um, making sure everything I did was right. But um, I realized that it didn't have to be perfect. I, I do my best, and, um, and it all worked, works out in the end. The first meeting was just a getting to know you meeting. We didn't have to plan a lesson. It was just a way for us to, to talk and, and know one another. And I thought, um, I was nervous. She was nervous for the first few minutes. We were very kind of quiet. But eventually, you know, once we talked, started talking about our families, we developed a really, a really good relationship and just we bonded really well. Tutoring is so different because you do develop a, a connection with the person you're working with. Um, it's one-on-one, -on -one, so you get to know that person really well, and and you get to see the progress um, almost almost immediately. And I don't see that as often when I'm picking up trash, or, or I don't have that connection with trash as I do with a human being. But um, I I just think it's it's so rewarding when six months later you see how much confidence they've, they've built in themselves, how they now read at church, or they're now voting. It's just really wonderful to, to do. You know, even if you feel like you're not qualified, just go in. What The skills that you need aren't necessarily a bachelor's degree or having to write a thesis. It's more your con how do you connect to the person. Um, are you a good person to, to talk to and to connect with. I think that's more important than the actual skills that you have, because that can be taught, but the people skills can't.